Welcome Geminis. This is the Taurus season. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Um, Geminis, this Taurus season is going to be good, good, good for you guys because after the Taurus season, it begins with you, Gemini season. So, Geminis, um, you are in the third house. Taurus is the second house. This is the season of your financial stability. Yay, yay, yay. You are going to be successful in this year. Um, money is going to be, and you know, if you I've been having any financial issues. Gemini, welcome to this new year 2021. And you have gotten this message before your birthday because this is the second house. Your birthday is after the Taurus and this is the Taurus season. Congratulations to all of you Virgos, uh, um, Geminis out there. Why am I saying Virgos? Uh, Geminis out there because this is looking good. All right, Geminis. All right, so... But the message here, and remember that the season is from um, April 20th until May 20th. All right. So um, let's get aligned with these energies. So this is powerful. There is no question about this. It is a powerful season. We have four weeks. This season of Taurus is four weeks. All right. So what we see is that we see the Ten of Pentacles. This is a positive energy. It is Mercury in a Virgo. That's why I was saying a Virgo. Mercury in Virgo. So the Ten of Pentacles is good in the first week. The week is from the 20th of April until the 26th of April. Then in the second week, I see the eight, another eight, another eight, another eight energy. And um, this is good. This is that you're recognizing and seeing exactly what is going on. So now everything is clear in the week of the 27th of April until the 3rd of May. Everything is clear. You're now recognizing and seeing the truth of what was happening and transpiring. Then as we go to the week, the third week of... Uh, um the story season it is going to be on the 20 the the fourth until the 10th the week of the fourth until the 10th of may you have the four of pentacles the sun in capricorn okay gemini's i am so happy for you guys fab 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 money's coming back hold on on that money don't let anyone know that you have that money because money is going to be coming back all right let's look at your last week your last week is the energy of the 11th until the 20th of may may 11th until the 20th you were dealing with a corporation institution. All right. So this is a powerful message. And I'm seeing, um, you know, whoever does the stock market is going to, go, go, going to be a good period in the star season. Um, whoever is on the stock market, um, whoever is dealing with stocks and that sort of a thing it is going to be good. Um, uh, stock brokers and those sort of people, sales people, anyone who communicate to do sales, um, but mostly stock brokers, anyone that does anything with stock or, um, real estate and that sort of a thing is going to be absolutely, absolutely good. So be aware of that. So fabulous, 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 ladies and gentlemen. All right. So. Let's break these weeks down. So the Ten of Pentacles is Mercury in Virgo. This is about wealth and a higher um, level of standard living. Okay, this is about wealth and a higher level of standard living. What is coming up here is that a lot of you, if you have a business, whatever you have, it could be tax returns and that sort of a thing. It is going to be good it's going to be bringing in a lot of um financial stability here for you guys it's going to be very very powerful in this week this week is the energy of the ten of pentacles and when we have the ten of pentacles is is about mercury and Virgo. mercury is about communication so stock markets anyone that communicate with their job and their business and um, this is going to be powerful. It is going to be bringing you a lot of money in. Okay, so be aware of that. This is good. All right, so money is coming in, family. Um, oh, I said it, family. Um, 
money is coming back to the family a lot of you were going your you and your family were going through some sort of a financial instability money is going to be coming back up for the family and a whole lot of uh, emotional situation that was transpiring with financial st instability with the family money is going to be back okay so i see you are now um gathering together with a family and is going to be recognizing and is going to be uh, recognizing that your financial stability and status is going to be back yes i see friends and family are going to be helping out a lot of you to bring back your financial and stability status and this is going to be good so this is a really positive alignment of energy and a lot of you in this week is going to be feeling really good um, that finally, um, you know, the instability of what you were dealing with, with your financial stability is now going to be balancing out. And a lot of you, um, as you enter the 20th of April until the 26th of uh, um, uh, April, you're going to be recognizing our friends and uh, uh, family help you to re um, balance your financial status and i see a lot of friends are going to be collaborating and making sure a whole lot of conversation but making sure that you are financially stable all right and this is going to be good let's look at the second week and the second week um is the week of uh, uh the 27th until may 3rd and we have the energy of Jupiter in Gemini, Jupiter in Gemini. And this energy of Jupiter in Gemini and you or Gemini is very good. All right. So um, what this is saying is that with Jupiter in Gemini, a lot of you Geminis are now seeing things clearer. You are no longer blindfolded. Okay. This is your sign and this is your energy. And this is about Jupiter in your sign and what is happening gemini is that you're no longer blindfolded you were blindfolded in the past but like now the blindfold is now lifted and you are now seeing much better clarity is now coming up for you gemini in the week of the 20 april 27th until may 3rd you are now seeing the truth and you're now recognizing and seeing exactly the play and what was happening and what was transpiring and now understanding where you are and what was um, happening around you in your world and i see truths are going to be revealed so this is a really powerful situation and i see a lot of you, you're going to be recognizing that people were um, basically pleasure seeking. Um, and a lot of you could be um, pleasure seeking because it's as if your heart is now open. Your heart chakra is now open. You're understanding what it is to be loved and to be loved by your friends. And what good friends and who are good friends to you. That good friends is always there. It doesn't really matter what kind of situation you all go through you're going to be now seeing the truth of who your good friends are okay um and this is going to be absolutely fabulous because a lot of you gemini seems to have lost your way because some of you gemini's you can meet people and because of how their status and stability is you think oh they're they're who i want to be with but never know how they get with and get their financial status okay so someone had pulled the wool over your eyes gemini and block you from seeing your friends and people around you and then you recognize that this person had you on the control and has been blocking your view because they were doing something that they were not supposed to do and now you're going to be finally recognizing oh my god that's why i couldn't speak to my friends that's why i was totally closed off from my friends that's why i couldn't say this or that to my family this person was actually controlling me and now you're going to be recognizing that. And I see that your friends are the ones, your old friends. I'm not talking about people who you just met two, three years. I'm talking about friends that you know for years are the ones that is going to be there in order to help you to recreate a new financial status for your world because your new friends came in and suck you dried. And your old friends are the ones that is still there and if you notice this message is very powerful, ladies and gentlemen, and take a look. 
Jupiter in Gemini, your sign. And what is happening is that all friends um, are, and I see a lot of you Geminis going back to reconnect with your old friends because you recognize those are the only true friends you had. And that the new friends that had come in came in only to take from you and not giving you anything else. They were not your friends. They were people who were sucking you dry. They they were energy vampires. And now you Geminis are going to be recognizing, oh my God, my friends that are, they are the same one who got me out of the situation. It's as if you got connected with a um an energy vampire and this person and their family and their connection was just sucking you blatantly dry. They were taking the last energy out of you and now you're recognizing oh my god wow um these people were just so false as hell and you're going to be returning to your um old friends and they're going to be um open up their arms and sharing um with you because those are true friends you know and i see your heart chakra is going to be start working again because your heart is going to be so palpitating um because you recognize, hey, these are the friends. These are really my friends. These are the people that have my back. These are really the people that never let me fall, even though I have turned my back on them. These people came back in order to support me, and this is just so going to be powerful. A lot of you, your heart chakra was blocked, and now you're opening up to new love, and this is going to be powerful and good. Go, Geminis, go. Oh, by the way, Geminis, you guys, I think you guys win the monthly reading of uh, the monthly reading of May you guys win the business reading I mean you and the Aquarians have been going at it for a very long time um, I'm going to do something special for um, you guys um, you and the Aquarian has been going at that business thing for such a long time. And uh, I am going to be giving out um, and doing something special for you, Geminis. Uh, thank you so much, Geminis. I so do love you guys. I mean, Geminis, you are like one of the smartest people on this planet. And what I do love with you, Geminis, is that you are smart, but yet still you cut straight and you think about things and you're very, very um, you know, you're quiet sometimes, but you are so smart and you're, you're, you know, you can figure out things. Only the thing about it is that with some of you Geminis, you always go for the wrong people and your true friends, friends that will never let you down is going to be there. A lot of you Geminis are going to be released out of a, a marriage, a relationship, and your heart chakra is going to start to heal and you're going to be feeling free um from some sort of a relationship that you were in that you have been hurt and it's as if uh, you know your marriage over your relationship over and you're like skip any day okay prima it's good i'm okay let's move on with my life and you're going to be opening up your heart chakra and i see so many friends and family that is going to be there to support you i do love you gemini's all right let's move on the third week. The third week is from the 4th until the 10th of May. That week is going to be beautiful because the sun is in Capricorn. So a Capricorn could be helping a lot of you, Gemini, in order to regain money. Okay. So um, when the sun is in Capricorn, um, this is good in your bank. Okay. Your bank account is looking good. Okay. A Capricorn could be making sure that they are bringing in, um, in alignment that your financial flow is good. So a lot of you, um, if you're in a relationship with a Capricorn, I see financially you're going to be very financial, uh, stable. Um, a bank or a financial institution, if you're borrowing money, um, or however that is, could be returning a lot of money to you or if you're borrowing money, the money is going to be transferring on your account in this week, sometime in this week. So, um, you know, if you're looking for investment sometime in this week. So and uh, the sun in Capricorn is about, you know, if you're borrowing money or that sort of a thing, it is going to be coming in in the week of May um, 4th to May 10th. There we go. There we go. I did say it to you, ladies and gentlemen. So 
And here we are saying that some sort of a bank or financial institution, um, whether you were borrowing money or you were are asking for some sort of a help, financial help, women, it is going to be coming in. Yes, yes, yes. And this is coming up as a bank or financial institution. And yes, 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 the money is definitely going to be coming in. So when we look at the energy of the five, um, with a tree it is about um it can be a payout some sort of a um insurance payout loan payout um it can be inheritance coming back to you okay um some of you were not even aware it could be that you pay off your mortgage your loan or your car loan and whatever and uh, some sort of extra money came out of that extra equity over some sort of a uh, um, you know, money market cash thing that you um place. A lot of you could be also buying a house, and um, the transaction is going to be going in in the week of uh, um in the week of uh, the fourth until the tenth of May. So whatever you are doing in this week is going to be a yes, yes, yes. So your sweet weeks is um April twentieth till till April 26th so, and your other week week is going to be May 4th until May 10th and this is going to be absolutely fantastic this is going to be good for business people um this is going to be good for people that was applying for home loan equities that sort of a thing um this is also good for people who have lost their inheritance and it is going to be returned this is also good for the payout of some sort of insurance and that sort of a thing which is going to be absolutely fantastic so um you know this is good this is positive this is a positive alignment of energy um that is going to be coming up and transpiring and this is going to be good Alrighty, let's look at the week of uh, may uh 12 until may 20th may 12 until may 20th a lot of you are having some sort of a problem with an institution, organization, a group of people. You recognize that a huge theft was created. So a, a, a bank or a financial institution or um, where some of you um, is hoping that they see this huge theft that was created. A lot of you, um, Gemini is recognizing that there was some sort of a um, problem. And it, it can be at work for some of you where you could be investigating. You, you could be a forensic um, accountant, that sort of a thing. But it could be at work where you find this out or you know that it's going on and you're open for it to um, be established and people recognize but um, for a lot of you is that they're going to be recognizing that an Aquarian or uh, someone in uh, civil servants has created a huge death. And this is the energy of uh, hope. You're hoping that a corporation, institution recognize this. And yes, they're going to be recognizing um, that a lot of people was profiting off of you Gemini's and they're going to be recognizing it because it's as if here it is the energy of the prophet and this corporation institution is going to be really protecting you Gemini's from this whole family that was profiting from you Gemini so um a lot of you Gemini's is as if because whenever we look at this corporation institution it's about bank financial institution um uh corporate uh, where um, you know, a whole lot of people has been profiting from a whole lot of you. And um, this energy is showing up where um, this this elephant is about discipline. Discipline, okay? And guess what? A Taurus is going to be, um, or someone, a manager, a boss, IOPS, is going to be protecting you, Geminis, because they recognize uh, they're going to be bringing back discipline because they recognize that it could be a manager that recognized that you were being, uh, um, uh, you know, dishonestly, um, treatedly unfair. Um, they're also going to be recognizing that 
a lot of uh, family has profited from some of you Geminis and used you and profited from some of you Geminis and this corporation is going to be um, really protecting you um, Gemini. So let's say you Gemini men married to someone and uh, they recognize that this person has been using you Gemini. They and their family has been profiting and using you Gemini to so your information, your data and has used you Gemini to get some sort of a status in a country, in a land. They're going to be ending it Gemini and releasing you from the situation because they recognize that you Gemini's uh, have been caught up in a really disturbing um, family um, a family that has created a whole lot of uh, this honorable um, situation um, by you know using you and profiting from you and um, you can recognize this how they use you it's a whole family used you and profit from you, Gemini. And a corporation institution is going to be stopping this and ending this because they recognize the foul play of a whole family that used you, Gemini, and profited from you, Gemini. So it could be um, the end of a marriage. Okay. But whatever is happening, your boss, okay, because this is the energy of the Taurus and this is the energy of the boss in a corporation institution, but also this is the energy of uh, our authority that is going to be protecting you, Gemini's. Okay. And it's as if you, Gemini's, are hoping for some sort of a protection from authoritarian figures. And yes, they are going to be protecting you because they're going to be recognizing how um, a family have profited and use you and uh, profit from you gemini's and this is going to be ending so gemini's you end uh, the spirit on the, yeah it's not a very nice situation to know that you were you 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 know you've been used but guess what you're off and you got rid of these people i do love you guys please thumbs up show your love namaste mm -hmm.